What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Grab a seat and strap in, cause we're about to have some fun. Today we're gonna take a look at a couple of videos that can only be best described as hidden camera footage. Now as you all know in Singapore, whenever you encounter anything weird or unusual in public, there are two things you can do. One, call the police. Or two, record it on your phone. And the videos we're gonna look at are from the second category. And things might get weird, so be prepared. So without further ado, let's dive right in. I thought this was gonna be funny, but as it happened, I realized it was not. I mean, why would the owner of this house set themselves up like that? Imagine if they're asleep and then they're woken up by the delivery man shouting at their door. I don't know, maybe it's a prank on the delivery man by telling them that the doorbell is broken, just try to yell it out. I don't think I want to keep getting my deliveries or visits from people shouting ting tong every time because that's going to drive me insane. But hey, you know what? The delivery man delivered and he threw in a ting tong free of charge. So that is a 5 stars for me. <laughs> Okay, I wasn't expecting monkeys in the heartland to be this mischievous and I thought most of these like playful cheeky monkeys that would steal food were at McRitchie Reservoir. Maybe this monkey is from McRitchie Reservoir and decided to visit the convenience store? But I must say, this monkey has definitely been planning this operation for a long time. You can clearly tell it was waiting for the opportune moment to get that bread. Now I'm wondering if the monkey is just gonna stay on the pavement and eat all the food or does it have a family with mouths to feed because times are tough in this economy. <laughs> okay, I was wrong, and it's gonna keep all the food for itself. And that's a mood. Now hold on, what did I just watch? The uncle was literally doing squats while standing on a railing and hugging a tree. How can this be allowed? Like who is that for? And why? Surely this can't be safe because this uncle is literally doing it in the middle of the road. I mean, I get that he wants to do morning exercise, but is it that serious? I don't know if he's training for something, but this doesn't look right. But this is definitely one of the most alpha boomers I've ever seen. And I'm just wondering how he goes about living his life because it must be pretty wild. Good AM bros and sis, I'm Alpha Boomer and today I'm going to teach you how to work out anytime, anywhere, any place. If you cross the road and see a tree, you can squat. If you're on the train and cannot find a seat, you can squat. You're cooking in the kitchen and nothing to do, also can squat. If you want to become an Alpha Boomer like me, just squat only. God bless. Yeah, I'm just gonna stop there because that nail clipping sound is triggering. I don't get why people do this on the train in public transport. I don't know why they think this is the best time and place to do it. Who is gonna pick up after your fingernails? Who? You tell me. If you ask me to rank all the most annoying things that happen on a train, it's gotta be talking loudly, blasting music, and clipping nails on a train. I don't like any of that. Not at all. <laughs> what we just witnessed was a classic example of a Singapore Karen. That was really a hot mess. I mean, you're in a public space and with all the COVID restrictions right now, at least be a decent human being and wear a mask, especially because this is like an indoor venue. Is that simple really? Just put on a mask. But really, it's the wildly shaking your handphone and trying to take photos multiple times for me. Because clearly she's in the wrong, but she decides that, hey, my best defense against my stupidity is to take photos of someone else. I'm in the wrong, ah, but I'm gonna capture you. Don't think you can run away. I don't know what evidence she was trying to get, but hey, you know what? That's just a Singapore Karen for you. But like I said earlier, this is exactly what I was talking about when it comes to weird unusual things in public. The guy who shot this was just trying to expose her. I mean, nothing wrong with that. But also, do you need to? You could have just told her in person to put on a mask. You know, instead of stirring up shit like this, maybe we could all afford to be a little nicer for a change. So if I'm getting this correctly, that was probably some young punk 
that was riding in the wrong direction on a highway. That pretty much looks like what happened. I mean, doing this in the middle of the night, it's definitely a bold move. Choices are made and lives were endangered. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Why are they fighting? There's no context here. This guy just happens to be right in the middle of the action and filming it from his car. I'm gonna rip your face off. This is probably some sort of turf war going on between the riders because what could they possibly be fighting about? Car park space? There's probably a lot going on in the story here, but the fact that this guy just calmly filmed it all from the comfort of his car while listening to the news, it's pretty chaotic if you ask me. You know what, maybe these guys had some beef with each other prior to this. Hey bro. Yes bro. Just now your bike play that music is my song eh. Where God, it's my favourite song. No law, it's my song eh. How can like that? You boy song my song is it? Let's fight. Don't need, I already called SG Secure. The guy just sneezed. Without warning, he just took down his mask and sneezed. <coughs> in the middle of the food court, I'm guessing. Why? You would think that in a country where people choke seats with tissue paper, that this guy would have some on him. But apparently not. Disappointed? Yes. Disgusted? For sure. What the f was that? No. That guy, he's gotta go to jail. Don't pass go, just go straight to jail. Honestly, I can't believe he went out of his way to just hurt a cat with his bike. And putting I Love Cats right there? Nah, that ain't it. I think this came on the news a while back, but I'm not sure the guy was caught after all because he's got it coming. And there's a special place in hell for people like that. Okay, so we have another monkey clip and this time the monkey's at the playground. I bet you the monkey is gonna attack a child or maybe steal some food. It can go either way at this point to be honest. I think it's going down his yeah. Oh no! Poor child. I mean, lucky he got away in one piece in the nick of time. But maybe the monkey was just looking for a playmate, you know? Okay, but then again, that's pretty unlikely. I'm thinking the monkey just wanted some food, and this time, of the human variety. Okay, so many questions, where do I begin? But firstly, why was this guy running out of the highway and then coming back again? I'm guessing maybe his car broke down and he was looking for help, but I really hope the guy in the second car is okay. This was just insane all around. But also, how did the guy filming this capture it at the right time? I'm thinking that there was more that happened before this, but you know what? Lesson learned, cars are dangerous. Yep, just a casual couple of chickens crossing the road. I've never witnessed this in real life, but this is iconic. And that chicken couple there, legend. It looked like the male was kind of in a hurry and the partner, wife, whatever you want to call it, is like chasing after him. There's a whole story to unpack right there, but I'm not mentally prepared to do that right now. So that was clearly National Day and apparently some boomer thought it was his road, grandfather's road, and walked right in front of a military vehicle. Just glad that nobody got hurt and the vehicle stopped in time because that uncle, last warning really. You know, I'm just realizing now that quite a number of these clips feature boomers in the wild. But I don't know, maybe it's something to do with reaching a certain age where you just don't care anymore. But really, props to them for having the balls to do things like that in public. Alright, we're down to our last one. Oh, 
Okay, that happened way too quick for me to realize what was going on, but he was actually shaving on a moving bus. Shaving on a moving bus. What? What is going on here, really? Why? This was like that one time I saw a clip of the uncle, you know, like cutting his hair in the bus. Wait, I just had a big brain moment. What if they're the same person? Plot twist. This uncle clearly needs help. The bus is no place to do your personal grooming. You know what? I'm done. I'm down to my last brain cell and if I see one more person doing something crazy on public transport, I think I'm gonna lose my shit. So you know what? That's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please remember to like and subscribe and comment down below what I should react to next. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye. YOLO Say no no YOLO YOLO You only live once